You're about to watch the most difficult event in the world humanoid robot games. The 100 meter obstacle course final. Robots slipped. Robots crashed. Some couldn't even stand up again. But a few teams made history. This wasn't just a race. This was a battle against physics, engineering limits, and gravity itself. Stay tuned, because what you're about to see will change how you think about humanoid robots. Running in a straight line is one thing. Navigating pebbles, stairs, ramps, and narrow beams is a completely different level of challenge. This obstacle course is designed to push humanoid robots to their limit testing, balance, and stability on uneven terrain, precise foot placement to avoid falls, real-time adjustments through sensors and AI, and teamwork between engineers and their robots. Ten teams made it to this grand final including multiple Unitree subsidiary teams with different robots. The track is filled with brutal challenges, a bed of pebbles and wooden chunks that can throw robots off balance, vertical poles that test precise sidestepping, up and down staircases that are deceptively difficult, inclined ramps designed to destabilize footing, a narrow beam that requires tight control, and a one-foot jump that's terrifying for a 100 kilograms humanoid. This is where even the best robots struggle. Let's dive into the highlights. First up, Sonyan powers Little Brat, a small, lightweight humanoid. It started cautiously, crossing the pebble bed and wooden chunks without much trouble, carefully dodging and adjusting its balance. On the stairs, going up was fine, but coming down was wobbly. It nearly tipped forward, but managed to stay on its feet. The vertical poles were no problem. Its small frame helped it slip through easily. Then came two ramps, a lot of hesitation, a few stumbles, but still standing. The narrow beam? Disaster. It fell off on the first try. The clock was ticking, but after a reset, it managed to complete it. You can see a handler running behind, arms out, ready to catch it if it fell. The robot was joystick controlled, and the operator was tense. It climbed another staircase more confidently, then executed a clean jump over the one-foot barrier. But the side ramps slowed it down again. Finally, it crossed the last V-shaped ramp and finished the course, clocking over 4 minutes 30 seconds. Slow, but a complete run. Next up was Tian Gong, the ex-humanoid robot that had stunned the world just hours earlier by winning the 100-meter sprint race. All eyes were on this machine the favorite to dominate again. Tian Gong started strong, gliding smoothly through the first obstacles. It handled the pebble bed like a pro, barely breaking stride, and walked over the wooden chunk bed with precise, calculated steps. The robot's AI-driven balance system seemed flawless. Then came the vertical sticks. Tian Gong weaved through them with perfect control, and the first ramp section posed no threat. Engineers, and fans began to whisper that it might actually breeze through the entire course. But everything changed at the side stairs. Tian Gong climbed up confidently, its sensors mapping every step. But as it began to descend, a tiny misstep changed the race. Its right foot caught the edge of a stair, throwing its balance off center. The robot teetered for a split second before slamming face first into the ground. Gasps erupted across the stadium. Engineers rushed in. Tian Gong's head casing cracked, and one of its arms was disabled. It was over. The sprint champion, the pride of ex-humanoid, was out of the obstacle course. What was supposed to be a flawless run had turned into one of the biggest shocks of the competition. Then came out Tai, a powerhouse robot that looked more like a bodybuilder than a runner. Its heavy frame gave it stability, but slowed it down. It took deliberate, methodical steps over every obstacle. On the beam, it paused for several seconds to recalibrate. Despite its size, it powered through the ramps and jumps without falling. Mount Tai completed the course in 4 minutes 32 seconds. Impressive for a robot built like a tank. Next, Shandong University's small entry. It started confidently and sped through the pebble bed. But overconfidence was costly. When it hit the ramps, it slipped and slammed onto the ground, sliding forward. Handlers rushed in to stand it up, but precious seconds were gone. Later, it struggled on the stairs, almost falling backward. The handler was ready, 
keeping his hand right behind the robot's back. Despite setbacks, it cleared all obstacles, showing grit more than speed. One of the biggest stories of this final was Peanbotics Adam. Adam is the only full-size humanoid robot to successfully complete the entire 100M obstacle course in this event's history. Standing tall, it carefully analyzed every step, proving that large humanoids can be agile too. This was a massive achievement for robotics engineering, showcasing advanced AI balance control. And then came Gao E-Technologies G1, a Unitree G1 robot. This wasn't just a win. This was dominance. The G1 glided over the pebble bed, marched confidently up and down the stairs, and crossed the beam with pinpoint accuracy. Where other robots hesitated, G1 charged forward with confidence. It jumped over the barrier smoothly and flew over the ramps with incredible balance. The crowd roared as G1 finished the course in just 33.71 seconds, a performance that looked more like a movie scene than reality. This was the gold medal run. The 100M obstacle course final showed us how far humanoid robotics has come and how much farther it can go. Should robots have their own Olympics? Or will they one day compete against humans? Let us know in the comments, smash that like button, and subscribe for more cutting-edge robotics content.